Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Now, I'm just going to say I'm only doing this one because I'm a scientist and I feel like I should give every food I see that is new or interesting or different a fair shake, but I'll be honest, I'm not really looking forward to this one. So this is Richmond 8 Streaky Meat Free Rashers. That's right. It's vegan bacon or faking or whatever you want to call it. So this pack is 100% recyclable though, which is good. So it's good for the environment and good for the animals. My throat's quite dry today, so I'm probably going to be reaching for the Pepsi quite a lot. I don't know if it's Pepsi vegan. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this is from Richmond's. I saw this in the fridge section of my local supermarket and figured... I would grab it, give it a try, see what it's like, because I don't think I've really had vegan bacon, not in a long time anyway, because I know that way back in the day you could get it and it was absolute garbage, but I'm hoping they've uh, improved the recipe so far. My, um, my main problem with this, straight off the bat, is that this is vegan bacon, right? Which sounds fine, ethical and all that, but it's made by Richmond. Richmond are, you know, they've been around for... I don't know, 1889, of like a hun almost 150 years, and that entire time they've been slaughtering animals, especially pigs, by the thousands every single year, and still do, because they make loads of sausages, and quite frankly, they're my favourite sausages, I buy them all the time. So if you're an actual vegan doing this for moral reasons, why in God's name would you buy this? Because you're still supporting a company that slaughters animals by the thousands. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, it's a marketing thing, right? They do this because it appeals to people, because people who don't really quite understand veganism think, oh, look, they're being ethical and all that. But they really aren't. They're still killing a shed load of, uh, of pigs, which is, is bad. Uh, so yeah, go for a vegan alternative where they basically only make vegan stuff. Ran over. Um, so the first thing I'll tell you about these so far, I haven't even tasted them yet, but they smell like that fake bacon stuff you get for dogs. You know, they smell like dog food. I'll be perfectly honest. They smell like, you know, you, you get those fake bacon rashers that you can give to a dog. They smell like those. So they, they don't smell nice at all. Doesn't So far, my experience has not been anything like bacon. I fried it in a pan, sure, but the bacon didn't like shrink and contract it stayed the same size and it didn't go like extra crispy or anything it just kind of looks the same as it did before i put it in the pan except maybe a little bit blacker around the edges but i suppose i should uh talk about it um what's actually on this packet so these are eight streaky meat-free rashers and these cost about the same as a, a good pack of bacon um time to cook you do them in a, fr in a frying pan three to four minutes turning a couple of times a little bit of oil, which is uh, just how you would generally make normal bacon anyway. Uh, there is a wee blurb. So, introducing our meat-free smoked streaky bacon. Perfect in a sarnie or a fry-up. Our rashers are packed full of protein, a great source of fibre and a guaranteed breakfast hit. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be the judge of that, shall I? They are seasoned, meat-free, smoked, streaky bacon-style slices made with rehydrated textured soya and wheat protein. So, not good for your... Uh, Celiacs, so definitely not good for those, um, or if you're allergic to soya. Two, both of those are very big um, uh, allergens for people, so the fact that that's all this is made out of, I suppose you, it's got to be really hard to be a vegan celiac or something like that, that'd be crazy. Um, anyway, so they have a Facebook and an Instagram. You go on Instagram and look at Richmond Sausages, ooh, lovely. Uh, so these are vegan. Let's have a wee look at your um, nutritional information. I suppose I'll show you the ingredients first. I mean, it's not a long list of ingredients. There's probably fewer ingredients in there than there is in, a, in their sausages, um, which uh, is probably a bad thing. So the sausages are not, uh, they're not good quality, but hey, I love them. Don't give a shit. So nutritional information. We'll go with the 37.5 grams of rashers as sold, because that's that would be two rashers, because 150 grams in this packet. Uh, so for two rashers, you've got 67 calories, pretty low on the calories, so that's good. Uh, 4.2 grams of fat, 0 0.4 grams of saturated, so not a lot of fat or saturated fat. 1.8 grams of carbs, 0 0.6 grams of that sugar, 2 grams of fiber, 4.6 grams of protein, and 0 0.89 grams of salt. So I would say that's quite high salt considering the amount of calories, but um, they're going to have to put loads of salt in this to make it taste of anything. 
Yeah, I guess you will want to to see it now, I suppose. Because that's just an empty packet. I did just make all eight rashers for this video because I know full well, even if these are the best thing ever, <laughs> which they won't be, I, I'm not going to think, oh, I'll have another vegan sandwich before these uh, go out of date. Because this is... It's used by, the date on it is 0607, right? Obviously it's August now that I'm uploading this video, but um, when I bought these, that's like four days before they go out of date, which is horrible. I don't know if that's because they have a really sh small shelf life or if it's just because they're vegan bacon strips and they've been sitting on the shelf for weeks and no one's bought them, but I don't know, I don't know. But uh, I guess we'll find out if they're any good. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I am quite snotty today, so... <sighs> Try and keep that to a minimum if I can. <laughs> uh, anywho, let's make some bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Dun, 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 dun. Right, I'll show you the rasher. I picked this one because it looks the most like a normal rasher. Uh, which it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't look like an actual rasher at all. I mean, that looks like a drawing of a rasher of bacon, you know, like The Simpsons. Or something like that. <laughs> it's floppy as well. It doesn't break or anything. Or well, maybe it does a little bit. Uh, so, I mean, they're reasonably stable. Which is good. <sighs> Guess I've got to eat it. Right. Alright. This is Richmond's 8 Streaky Meat-Free Rashers. Oh, let's give them the old taste test then, shall we? Hmm. I'd say it doesn't taste as bad as it looks or that it smells, but texture-wise, it's a bit cardboardy. Um, don't know what I'd equate it to. Like a really, really cheap ham, like. That bear ham you get, you know, that has a bear face on it or whatever. Face ham. It's got the same texture as that, which um, isn't great. Kind of just tastes like that too. It just kind of tastes like cheap, really cheap processed ham. Which I think, I mean, on one hand it's kind of good, right? Because it does kind of taste like meat. But it doesn't taste like bacon, That's that's the thing. It is quite salty. Um, bacon tends to be quite salty. Um, I don't think these are supposed to be smoky bacon. It is a little bit smoky, but not uh, overly. And I prefer a smoky bacon to a normal bacon. Anybody who likes normal bacon is weird. Mmm, um, I like flavourless bacon. Yum, yum, yum. Have a word for yourself, man. Um, yeah. Honestly, not a lot of flavour to it. It's not very bacony, I'll be honest. Um, the texture is like that horrible, horrible ham, horrible cheap ham that uh, has been maybe fried in a pan for a bit, and it's just not got a lot of flavour. It does taste a bit wheaty as well, like it kind of tastes bready, so that's all the wheat in it, but it's not completely inoffensive or anything. It's just, it's just pants. Like it's just rubbish. Like it's so. Oh, I'm so annoyed by this. Why did I do this? Like, why did I do this to myself? Honestly, like, rubbish, absolute mint, right? I've, ex I've I've done a an experiment. Well, I say an experiment, but I've made a meal out of it. You could, if you want to call it a meal, um, because you know, no one just sits and eats bacon on its own. I mean, you you, would ha you maybe have it with part of a fry up or or whatever, but um, the classic. British thing to do is a bacon sandwich. So all seven of the extra meat pack, uh, meat streaks I've got are in this two bits of bread. Um, I suppose maybe if you're a vegan, you might have a, a BLT or a VLT if you like. Um, of course, that just sounds like someone from Glasgow who's never had a winch. Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I hate tomatoes. Hate them. Raw tomatoes. Blech. Get them so far away from me, which is weird because I love tomato sauce, but I suppose that's just 
sugar in it. Uh, I've got some brown sauce as well, so we're going to put some brown sauce on the old uh, bacon sarnie. I should probably take the bit off. I had no break bait. Mmm, 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 that's nice. I never had any brown sauce in the house. I bought it especially for this video. And I'll probably not won't eat much of it again. I don't, I don't normally go brown sauce, to be honest. I normally go red sauce. Not that I'm, uh, I've got anything against brown sauce. I do like it, but I'm just more of a red sauce man. So let's put this on the old uh, bacon sandwich. Oh, shoot. Just dripping it everywhere. You can see all those streaks there. They look a bit gross. So let's get a bit of the brown sauce. Pretty sure the brown sauce is vegan. It doesn't say that it's vegan, but it's not, um, it's not, I looked, checked the ingredients and it's not got anything that sounds meaty. Uh, and they've got spread on here, uh, what's it called? Buttery spread, but it's, it's vegan spread. So I've got some of that on there as well to give you a bit of a butteriness for your bacon sandwich. So let's, uh, let's give, give this the old taste test. I kind of don't, I don't want to just bite into the bits of bacon that are hanging at the end. I probably should have cut them off. Tell you what, I'm just going to rip them off. Right, and then uh, and push maybe push them up a wee bit. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a a, cor a good corner. All right, there you go. That's good. Right, let's give this a bite. So let's see how it works in a in a bacon sandwich. Just made it taste more like dog food because there's more of it right so one streak on its own eating that it's a bit bland it's a bit plain but eating all the streaks together in one thing the brown sauce isn't helping it's so bland and it's kind of like the edges have gone all crunchy. I like a crispy bit of bacon, but that's not crispy, it's crunchy. Like a biscuit or something. It's... That tastes of nothing. Like it tastes of almost nothing. Yeah, we're done with that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully we've attracted some vegans to watch this video. So let me know in the comments, or even if you're not a vegan, but you've tried vegan stuff. Let me know in the comments if there's a better brand of vegan bacon, because this stuff is utter garbage. Like it is trash. It tastes like next to nothing. It's got a con the consistency of cardboard. The edges go crunchy, which doesn't really help it's nothing it tastes nothing like bacon it looks like a drawing of bacon maybe by the people that draw the simpsons but it's terrible absolutely terrible and it's so bland that you know you might put bacon on a burger you know people put bacon on a burger on other sandwiches or whatever adding that to something else would add literally nothing to it because it would just get lost in whatever else you're having so very bad. Terrible. Get it together, Richmond. I mean, your sausages, I like them, right? I will say this, I do like Richmond sausages, I eat them all the time. But they are shocking quality, like they're very poor quality. Richmond's, you're already known for making poor quality products. So please, for the love of God, don't do bad quality vegan stuff as well that costs an arm and a leg. It's an absolute waste of time and a waste of your money. Um, any vegans that come in and see this and think, no, I actually, I think it tastes like real bacon. You're wrong. It doesn't. Clearly, you haven't had real bacon for way too long because that tastes absolutely nothing like bacon. It is vile. Ugh. Ugh, I need to eat something nice now. So I'm going to go get something else to film another video for next week. And I'm guaranteeing it will be something nice. So please come back and watch that video. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my rant because this is terrible. And I've got nothing against vegans. I really don't. I, I've, I ethically, I, I kind of agree with vegans on a lot of points. I just, um, I just, I like, I like eating cows. What can I say? So, yeah, 
Thanks for watching guys, uh, don't buy these, they are absolutely atrocious and uh, give the video a thumbs up though, and subscribe, hit the wee bell to get notifications and uh, come back next time where I'll definitely be eating something nice. I will see you then. Ah, cheers.